Coronary artery disease is a common condition that affects the heart and its ability to function properly. According to the World Health Organization, coronary artery disease is the leading cause of death worldwide, accounting for more than 7 million deaths per year. To understand what this condition is, let's take a closer look at the heart and its blood vessels. The coronary arteries are the blood vessels that supply the heart muscle with oxygen and nutrients. When these arteries become narrow or blocked, it can cause a range of health problems, including chest pain, heart attack, and even heart failure. Coronary artery disease is a progressive condition that develops over time, and it's usually caused by a buildup of plaque in the arteries. This plaque is made up of cholesterol, fat, and other substances that can narrow the artery and reduce blood flow to the heart muscle. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of coronary artery disease so that you can better understand this condition and how to protect your heart health. There are many factors that can contribute to the development of coronary artery disease. Some of these risk factors are within our control, while others are not. Let's see the most common causes of coronary artery disease. Smoking is one of the most significant risk factors for coronary artery disease. The chemicals in cigarettes can damage the walls of the arteries, making them more likely to develop plaque buildup. A poor diet that's high in saturated and trans fats, cholesterol, and sodium can also contribute to the development of coronary artery disease. These substances can increase levels of LDL or bad cholesterol in the blood, which can lead to plaque buildup in the arteries. Lack of physical activity can also increase the risk of coronary artery disease. Exercise helps to lower blood pressure, reduce cholesterol levels, and maintain a healthy weight, all of which are important for heart health. High blood pressure or hypertension can damage the walls of the arteries and increase the risk of plaque buildup. It's important to monitor blood pressure regularly and work with a healthcare provider to manage it. High cholesterol levels in the blood can also contribute to the development of coronary artery disease. LDL cholesterol can accumulate in the walls of the arteries and form plaque, while HDL or good cholesterol helps to remove excess cholesterol from the bloodstream. People with diabetes are at higher risk of developing coronary artery disease, as high blood sugar levels can damage the walls of the arteries and increase the risk of plaque buildup. Finally, a family history of heart disease can also increase the risk of developing coronary artery disease. If close relatives have had heart disease or heart attacks, it's important to be aware of this risk and work with a healthcare provider to manage other risk factors. In many cases, people may not experience any symptoms until the disease has progressed significantly. However, there are several common symptoms to watch out for. Chest pain or discomfort, also known as angina, is one of the most common symptoms of coronary artery disease. This pain or discomfort may be described as pressure, squeezing, burning, or tightness in the chest, and it may also be felt in the arms, neck, jaw, shoulder, or back. Shortness of breath particularly during physical activity or exertion, is another common symptom of coronary artery disease. This may be due to a reduced blood flow to the lungs caused by narrowed or blocked arteries. Some people with coronary artery disease may experience feelings of weakness, dizziness, or lightheadedness. This may be due to reduced blood flow to the brain caused by narrowed or blocked arteries. Nausea or vomiting particularly in combination with other symptoms such as chest pain or shortness of breath, may be a sign of a heart attack or other serious complications of coronary artery disease. Finally, some people with coronary artery disease may experience excessive sweating, particularly during physical activity or exertion. This may be due to the body's natural response to reduced blood flow and oxygen supply to the heart. If you are experiencing symptoms of coronary artery disease, or if you are at risk due to your age, family history, or lifestyle factors, your healthcare provider may recommend tests to diagnose the condition. One of the most common tests used to diagnose coronary artery disease is an electrocardiogram, or ECG due. This non-invasive test measures the electrical activity of the heart and can help detect any abnormalities, such as an irregular heartbeat or damage to the heart muscle. A stress test is another common diagnostic tool for coronary artery disease. This test involves exercising on a treadmill or stationary bike while being monitored by healthcare professionals to evaluate the heart's response to physical activity. An echocardiogram is a type of ultrasound that uses sound waves to create images of the heart. This test can help detect any abnormalities in the structure or function of the heart.
including those caused by coronary artery disease. A computed tomography CT scan is another imaging test that can be used to diagnose coronary artery disease. This test uses x-rays and computer technology to create detailed images of the heart and blood vessels. In some cases, a coronary angiogram may be used to diagnose coronary artery disease. This test involves injecting dye into the blood vessels of the heart and taking x-ray images to identify any blockages or narrowing in the arteries. If you are diagnosed with coronary artery disease, your healthcare provider will work with you to develop a treatment plan based on your individual needs and medical history. The goal of treatment is to reduce the risk of complications and improve your overall heart health. One of the most important aspects of treatment for coronary artery disease is making lifestyle changes, including adopting a heart-healthy diet. This may include eating more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, while limiting saturated and trans fats, added sugars, and sodium. Regular physical activity is also an important part of treatment for coronary artery disease. Your healthcare provider may recommend at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week, such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. Medications may also be used to treat coronary artery disease, including cholesterol-lowering drugs, such as statins, and medications to lower blood pressure, such as ACE inhibitors or beta blockers. Other medications, such as aspirin or blood thinners, may also be used to prevent blood clots and reduce the risk of heart attack or stroke. In some cases, surgical procedures may be necessary to treat coronary artery disease. These may include angioplasty and stenting, which involve widening a narrowed artery and placing a small mesh tube, called a stent, to keep it open. In more severe cases, coronary artery bypass surgery may be necessary to reroute blood flow around a blocked artery. Remember, the best way to treat coronary artery disease is to prevent it from developing in the first place. By adopting a heart-healthy lifestyle, managing your risk factors, and getting regular checkups, you can reduce your risk of developing this condition and improve your overall heart health. Here's a conclusion that brings together all the information from the video. Coronary artery disease is a serious condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It occurs when the arteries that supply blood to the heart become narrow or blocked, which can lead to chest pain, heart attack, and other complications. Fortunately, there are many ways to prevent and treat coronary artery disease. Making lifestyle changes such as eating a heart-healthy diet, getting regular exercise, quitting smoking, and managing stress can help reduce your risk of developing this condition. If you are diagnosed with coronary artery disease, your healthcare provider may recommend medications such as statins, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, and aspirin to reduce your risk of complication. In some cases, surgical procedures such as angioplasty and stenting or coronary artery bypass surgery may also be necessary.